Hello everyone and welcome back again to my channel. We are in the city of Albufeira which is in the Faro district of Portugal and Faro is in the Algarve region of Portugal. Consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It helps me grow and it helps me, encourages me to produce more videos as well. As you can clearly spot from the weather and it's not very good it's raining it's off season as I discussed in my last video so please visit only if you are uh, probably coming back again to Faro at some other point in time otherwise I would suggest to reserve your trip for a better time when the weather is much better when there's more crowd on the streets and when you will have in general a better time one of the interesting things about this place and all the other places I have seen around here is that these are quite big hotels with a lot of um, activities outside here and there. So these are like resort type facilities. So they are very accommodative of a very chill and relaxing kind of stay. So you don't necessarily have to go outside. I mean, you can enjoy all the food and drinks you want right from the hotel itself and I'll do a separate video of the hotel later. Our hotel is located close to the, lo the place known as Albufeira and uh, there's lots of other facilities all around as well. It seems to be a pretty busy spot in the tourist season but now it's quite empty because uh, it's off season and we didn't really find too many buses or taxis. Uh, actually, we did not find any buses at all. Uh, maybe they do come, maybe they do not. We didn't really have time to find out. But uh, taxis are quite easily available. Or you can use Uber and Bolt applications to get your desired mode of transport. We're basically out and about walking around to find a place where we can have some food. We're all quite hungry. But as you can see, most of the restaurants are even closed. And that was quite a surprise to me because we would expect restaurants to remain open and serve clients. But on the way, most of the shops were actually closed. Even the uh, pharmacies and so on. I'm not quite sure what that might be due to. I mean this is a Wednesday and we are traveling on a weekday so we were expecting all the restaurants and shops to remain open. As a matter of fact when we did search in Google Maps it was showing as open as well but when you actually travel on the street and you look at those shops and restaurants you find that they are all closed. Perhaps they have all gone for their vacation somewhere else who knows. Anyway, one of the fun parts of traveling is that some things are always unknown to you and you just have to find out for yourself when you are in that specific location. Google Maps is not going to solve everything for you. Otherwise, there's no need for traveling. So let's just walk around, enjoy the rain and see what we can do. That restaurant up ahead seems to be open, so we're going to check it out and see if we can find some food to eat hopefully some fresh seafood that's what Portugal uh, should be known for right? you can see the seas are quite rough here as well and the weather is not friendly for swimming at this point in time also or surfing probably I would not uh, think about surfing in this weather as well it does get pretty windy at this place and uh, as you will see I'm struggling to keep my umbrella and my camera as well as my bags everything in a position where I can control them but I have failed multiple times. Yeah but not very successful at that.
This place is an actual gold mine for photographers. I mean, you have so many different angles and perspectives that you can just spend hours and hours on uh, just, just taking in the landscape and getting some great shots. You just need to be aware that this is probably not the right time or you have to find a slot where the rain is not there. There's a bit of sun and you can get some magnificent photos. Even for a casual person not interested in photography, you can just take a walk along the cliffs over here and explore these sides. You can actually go along this way into another beach, which is quite interesting as well. But do be careful because the ground can be quite slippery at this time because of the rain and the uh, the road is a little bit muddy at this point in time as well. So just be careful. There's an interesting poem I found by John Macefield on the sea. I'll read it out for you. I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. And the wheels kick and the wind song and the white sails shaking. And a gray mist on the sea's face and a gray dawn breaking. I must go down to the seas again for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying and the flung spray and the blown spume and the seagulls crying. I must go down to the seas again to the vagrant gypsy life, to the gull's way and the whale's way where the wind's like a wetted knife. And all I ask is a merry yearn from a laughing fellow rover, and quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trick's over. The wind and the rain is actually picking up at this point in time, so we'll just trace our way back to the hotel, wait a bit and see if the weather improves so we can get out again but for now it's time to take the walk back I imagine this place with its uh, white walls and uh, in the summer with a blue sky up top is going to look quite magnificent it's a shame really that uh, this time we're not able to see that but there's always hope for the next time Right about here, you have a location, uh, you have a store actually that is going to rent you cars locally. So you can have a look and probably be able to negotiate a good price for yourself and get a car. There's some very decent cars that you can see from here. And you can take them all around Algarve region. So it might be a nice uh, idea if you are into that kind of driving. Oh, that's a fancy one. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It's a small channel and your contribution and your subscription will help the channel to grow. Thank you very much. Have a nice day and stay safe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.